Hey there, this is the next video in our series about Pivotal Cloud Foundry Tutorials. In this video, we, I am going to explain you about the scaling. What is this and what do I mean by scaling of the applications that are deployed on Pivotal Cloud Foundry or in general also, what is scaling all about and why do we need it in real life scenario. So let's go ahead and get started. So what is scaling? Scaling is about uh, handling the fluctuating request with time we have to increase or decrease the capacity of machines where application is running so if i take an example of the uh, flipkart or amazon right or amazon like retail websites where they have uh, certain times right uh, peak seasons on festival times or when they have sales load on their websites increase dramatically right so when their app is running on a single machine and it had some configuration suppose 500 gb of ram and some 12 processor and this is the assume this is the configuration that they have in the existing machine and the, when sale times come uh, when a festival time is coming the load is going to increase dramatically right so is it possible that this 500 gb and 12 processor is going to handle that load no that is why you may have uh, seen some uh, some news or sometime you have faced this scenario that their website is down even facebook google or flipkart amazon they are facing this situation so how do they handle that so what is the solution for that so when peak season is coming what they can do they can increase the size of ram or they can uh, increase the number of processor that they have or they can deploy their application which has much more capacity than this on the peak seasons right so there are two options to increase the capacity right so one is increase the memory size processor size in the existing machine or there is another option where you can add more machines similarly like i have one machine that has this configuration right i when peak season is coming coming i can add more machines like this right so depending on these two options that we have scaling is categorized into two things horizontal and vertical let's go ahead and see those what are those so what is vertical scaling it is also known as scale up increasing the capacity of the existing machine by adding more resources or replace it with the new machine so suppose you have one machine which has capacity of 500 gb and processor 12 so when peak season is coming what you can do you can increase the size of uh, the ram 5000 gb or you can give processor 120 or you can add the bigger machine which has same configuration like this so more or less your application is running on a single machine single machine single machine is taking care of the application running and all the requests are being served to this one so there is no code change required to do this so when load is increasing you just have to uh, replace the machine and deploy the application out there so there is downtime involved with this application with this uh, way that we are scaling so you have to stop the application for some time when you are increasing the resources or moving the application from one machine to bigger machine right so this is the main disadvantage you have to go you have to make your application down and in in the today's time modern time downtime is a very bad experience from the user perspective right so let's move ahead and see what is the other way that we can opt for second is the horizontal scaling right so what is this adding no more new machines with the same capacity so increase in number of machines and so the capacity to handle more load so when i have one machine which is handling the request and it has some configuration like 500 gb of ram and 10 processors right when peak time comes i am going to add more machines like this right and the number of requests that is coming will be divided into these one these machines right so now what is the main advantage with this so uh, what you can do when your load is increasing you can uh, 
you can uh, add more vms machines where application is running and you do not have to down your application right down is not needed in this case so your application is running all the time and when load is increasing uh, you are increasing the number of vm only but in this case your application is running in a distributed mode so code change is required right when your application is running on different machines so when request is coming so there are sessions involved data house that is stored and different things come into play so application may design also uh, done that way to handle the distributed systems right so in vertical scaling what we were seeing we were seeing all the risks all the requests coming to single machine so there was no problem of uh, session loss or data loss something like that uh, that they are in different machines but in different machines that comes into picture and we have to take care of that and handle that to avoid the loss and uh, making bad the user experience but we are not going down with this and when you are uh, in the long term it is also cost effective because when peak season is going down you can just uh, drop these machines and still you are serving you, you are serving your users with one machine but with the vertical scaling when you have made the investment it is difficult to reduce that one so in the long term it is uh, going to costly but with the horizontal scaling you have all the options you can just phase out those machines that are not being used uh, based on the number of requests and load that is coming to your application right so this is about the horizontal and vertical scaling and the pivotal cloud foundry pivotal when your application is deployed into this environment it gives you the automatic way and you can configure that uh, when number of requests are increasing you can add more machines into that and the scaling is very easy and you don't have to worry about that that you have to do it manually right so we will see in the next video with the demo how we can do this in pcf uh, the scaling one right so till then you see and understand what is scaling all about right i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye